see if this thing is live. Oh, okay. And live on Facebook. Boop, ba -doop, ba -doop. <clears throat> okay. Turn on the okay. mute. We okay, don't need that. Okay, let's just check out Facebook. Where let me just refresh Facebook. Just gonna get started in a minute. Huh? Why is it suddenly getting bad frame rate? That's 1.2%. That's not so bad. Okay. <clears throat> what are you up to today? Oh, my God. Okay. I'm just sort of... <laughs> hey, Nancy. I'm going to do... Uh... Oh, wait. oh, let me switch views. I've got... Uh... I've got this, this insert for Tesla 3 and I'm going to paint over it. I'm going to turn it into a landscape. That's that's my plan. I don't know why. I just uh I have a thing about needing to be original. I have a weird kind of obsession with I try to be original, so I'm not going to use a like not using a photograph. I'm going to just paint something, create something. Uh, let me zoom in. Doot, doot, doot. So it's pretty small. I don't know what is that like. I don't know how many inches of that. It's probably s what is that? Seven inches by I don't know. Is that eight inches? Maybe something like that. Anyhow. So, I'm going to uh, yeah try to turn this into a landscape. <laughs> That's what I'm up to. Not quite sure how I'm going to do it. That's sort of like a whole other thought. I'm just arranging my desktop so I can see all the chats if they are on the different things and stuff. Okay. Well, where's Facebook? Where are you, Facebook? Oh, there I am. Okay. Nancy and Net. Okay. How about? I, mean, I wonder if I should turn off autofocus because it might be a little weird, jittery. Yeah, it's jittery. Okay, bye bye autofocus. So it's gonna be locked in. Okay. So kind of what I'm thinking about when I look at this, I can see. Um, I can envision like a shoreline. So let's just, uh, maybe I'll zoom out one more. There we go. Okay, so like maybe this is the shoreline. And then these are like uh, rocks. So again, I'm just going to sort of like think about Algonquin Park. Think about. So there's nice rocks up. Oh, shit balls. Those nice rocks up north Ontario. Okay, so like, let's just say, we'll take this line, we'll take the line here and bring it down. So this is like one rock here, and then this could be like another one here. So that could be like a basic composition. So, so I'm thinking of, consciously thinking about the, uh, what the thing of third, the, the rule of thirds, or whatever. So, so I'll have like, this is a third, this will be the water line. And, uh, um, they have like cracks. They have like cracks and stuff, right? Maybe I'll just do a crack like that. Anyhow, so I wonder if there should be like so. If there's a reflection, I wonder if the, yeah. Okay, so if there's a reflection, where would it start? Would it be like? Hey, Andy. What's up, Andy? 
Andy, I'm I'm uh taking this uh picture of a Tessus three insert, and uh, I'm gonna turn it into a landscape. But you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking about the rocks uh, by the cottage. Hey, Marcy. Um, I'm just talking to my cousin right now. Uh, remember when you go east towards Dorset, there are those those rock cliffs where you could... I, I'm not sure if I did it with you, but I remember a couple times climbing up and, and jumping off the rocks. So I'm thinking about those those rocks. They're, they're on the north side of the of the spit. Like if, if you were to follow the, the lake from the cottage to Dorset and you go past the point then the big open area then you go through that kind of like short little tunnel space yeah you know where they have those those lines that stop the airplanes from <laughs> hey mark yeah flat rocks i'm just talking to my cousin right now I hope i think he's online i'm trying to remember like this place where we used to uh used to drive by anyway so we knew we go that little curvy little section and i remember there was they had lines with like little co colored cones on them, I think to stop planes from landing there. And then just when you go east of that, north of it, there's that whole rock face. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. And I'm going to turn this, uh, <laughs> turn this Tesla insert into uh, into that sort of. Okay. So here are going to be some rocks. God damn flat rocks. And then. Um, and I'll, I'll I'll add all kinds of those like those lines, you know. They, oh, maybe I'll follow the tire line. Yeah. So this tire line here, maybe maybe that'll be that. Uh, maybe I'll f a little crack where the door is. Go like this. <laughs> okay. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll have a little bit of trees coming up here, and I'll try to make it on. The, so this will be like the horizon. So we're gonna have a third of water. Third of land, and then third of sky. Hey, no problem, Mark. Happy you got it, okay. Oh, I saw the picture, the framing. It looks cool in the glass. I, I didn't think, I, that's not what I thought. Uh, but I, that's a good idea to have to have it in glass. It's so weird. How come uh, Marcy's, Marcy's comments aren't showing up? on here i can see marcy your comments hey long time no see thumbs up i see that you wrote that on facebook but not on not on my group chat thing that eh, doesn't matter okay okie dokie so i have that and i wonder if i should have okay so there's gonna be a bit of movement this is all gonna be water here so there'll be reflections from the rocks coming down and then i suppose Hmm. I kind of want to have sky show through, but I need to have the equal distance. So the only way sky is going to show up here is if there's sky here. But that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I don't have enough. Hmm. Hey, Diego, what's up, man? Oh shit! I just clicked. Oh, I don't want to look at my own goddamn thing. I want to see the text. I want to see people's chats. I'm just on my screen. I clicked the wrong button in Facebook. Get rid of it. I don't care about looking at it. How do you... Facebook. It's pissing me off. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm back. There we go. Okay. Tiago. Is it... You know what's funny? Is it Tiago or Tiago? Tiago. Tiago. You gotta tell me how to say your goddamn name. I've only known you for a couple years. The Thiago or Tiago? Yeah. Luciano Del Gallo. Hey, Luciano Del Gallo. Okay. Stop screwing. All right. So, I was hoping to get a bit of sky showing through here, but here's the reality: if I, unless I put the horizon really low up here. I won't be able to see sky down here. Ah, whatever. What are you going to do? Unless, oh, I know. I got an idea. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. This is what I'm going to do. I'll do like trees. I'll do the tree in the horizon low. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Okay. So the tree horizon is going to be low. Therefore, I am going to have blue sky. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
Blue sky. Okay, I'll make should I make the rocks. I'll make the rocks come across. Oops, come across here. Okay. And then what kind of trees do we, do? we need to make those? Uh, what the hell are those trees up there? First one. Oh shit. Well, I'm gonna say it again, Thiago. Tiago. Is it with a t or is it T H like th? Thiago? Tiago. Which one is it, buddy? Tiago's a wicked 3D artist. Okay. I like looking at the picture on my screen sometimes. You can see it nice and flat. California palm trees. Dude, I don't know what the first one is. I'm not that smart. I don't I already forgot which was first. California palm trees. No, I'm thinking of like those uh What's the, it's the tree that um, Tom Thompson did, the West Wind one. I forget, it's like a, is it a Douglas fir? I'm not sure, but they're kind of, they look like this. They do, they do these, um, they have like a long thing here, and then they'll have like, like, like those kinds, they have that kind of, like a Christmas tree sort of thing, but they have, you know, the group of seven, they would always have like a little bit flow, like a bit more over here, and they would like, this kind of thing. Douglas first. I don't know why I said Douglas first. I don't really know what the fuck I'm talking about when it comes to trees. Oh, I'm gonna see what uh, what a sunset palm trees are on. I'm just gonna I'm clicking on uh that dude. No way. That's like Grand Theft Auto Five, man. That's like uh, the Miami one. <laughs> Look at it. This is Ontario, dude. That's that's. I'm looking at Diego's link. It's those super tall. Oh, I did a painting. That ha kind of similar to that, just, but that's super Florida. Yeah, no, I'm I'm kicking it Ontario style. <laughs> okay, so let's just add some more of these, couple of these, just for composition, right? Do they? Yeah. Okay. So maybe they'll like a bit of it. They'll be like a flow of just a solid green. But yeah, right about here. Okay. So anyhow, I'll just I'll figure that out later as I do it. And then the rest will be some kind of sky. Okay. So I'm thinking uh, oranges, yellows, that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, why is this? I have this multi chat thing from restream.io. And it's supposed to capture all, everyone's chats, but it's not picking them up for some reason. So if I don't respond, it's simply because I can't, uh, the software is not displaying everyone's chats. Like, I'd have, to, I'd have to actually go to, like, Twitch, which I, you know, I don't even really pay attention to. Twitch. Okay, some white. All right. Oh, and I should probably do a, a uh, I know what I'll do. Okay, first I'm just gonna do a layer color just to, to get the uh, paint down. I like these flat brushes, these are cool, but I think I kind of ruined this one by being lazy and not washing them soon enough, okay. Let's put down some some color here. Well, by the way, I have no idea how it's going to take because <laughs> I'm I'm painting on some kind of like marketing print, so I have no idea what's going to happen. But my plan is I'll put it on thick enough so that it will. Uh, It'll act like a layer, like gouache. I mean, sorry, it'll act like gesso. It'll be like its own. This is my theory, anyhow. But we'll see what happens. Let's just experiment. Okay, so. We got some, because when, when these rocks crack, they kind of crack in the opposite. Facebook doesn't like when you stream on multiple platforms. Yeah, I know. Yep. 
Do you know that that uh, YouTube banned me for three months because I have I was playing while I was painting. I had on the screen on part of the screen um, a comedy sketch from Keel and Peel. Just I don't, it doesn't matter who it's from, and it was literally like far less than a reaction video where people just play it and watch. And they banned me for three months. And I, I tried appealing it, but. This is YouTube. Sorry, I don't know if I said Facebook. I meant YouTube. And it was just like, holy shit. I mean, I've, I've watched tons of, like, reaction videos where they're literally just people watching videos and then they're in the corner, you know, laughing and talking about it. I'm like, what, what, what did I do differently? Like, how is what I did even remotely not the same thing? Very bizarre. Very bizarre. And this is actually this 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 um this is a real uh Tesla 3 invitation thing. So like when you order a Tesla 3, they send you this invitation. I got this a couple years ago. I foolishly sent them a thousand bucks several years ago, thinking that, oh, you know, maybe I should get in line just in case, you know, I'll be able to afford to buy one. And they send you this invitation. Thank you for you know ordering a Tesla. And this this is the actual invitation. Of course, I've never gotten one, but <laughs> but so this is uh, it's the only way you could get this is if you ordered one pre-order or whatever the hell they call it. So there you go. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't showcase Facebook chat. Facebook doesn't like when you stream on multiple platforms. You know what's weird about the Facebook chat is only shows, it only shows me the last few chats, like the ones you just uh, wrote there, Tiago. It only shows me like the last four chats. So I don't know what you wrote before if I wasn't paying attention. And yeah, my restream IO chat is empty. That's fucked up. I'm just going to do a test. T-E-S, test chat. I'm going to type that in. And so it shows up. Yeah, showed up on Restream Rio. Showed up on Facebook. Whatever. Okay. So now, what I probably should do is I should do like a a wash, a wash for. Hmm. Should I do a red wash and paint over it with white? Let's let's try that. Let's see. Am I in the group now? I don't know what group are we talking about. If you're talking about my my Facebook group, I've honestly I've never done anything with it. I just uh, I just turned it on one day and I was like, oh fuck, what am I gonna do with a Facebook group? So I'm not really doing anything. If that's what you're talking about, one day I might do something. Like maybe what I'll do is is have a special group for let's say maybe people who've bought only bought paintings or something, or and then I'll like do something special there. Just because I'm so awesome. Okay, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah. I think I need to do almost like a, a thick base layer. I'm just going to go right to the edge. So this time I didn't tape it down. So I'll just, I can go straight to the edge. Okay, so because I am painting some sort of untreated surface like this is not what I liked about it was it was kind of thick so it's not like cheap piece of paper it's it's got some thickness to it it's like some sort of cardstock where's that red before you said my comments weren't showing up yeah so here this is all I'll, I'll switch to my desktop so you can see what I'm talking about when I go to here, so this is what I can see. So right here is Facebook. It says, okay, Thiago, thanks. 
before he said my comments were showing up. So that's Facebook. And over here is this multi restream which should show everything. So it says the group, like it only shows am I in the group chat now, but none of your other texts. So it's really weird that I can't, uh, I'd have to actually follow. So like here's Twitch. I'd have to go to here, wherever the hell their Twitch chat is to see if someone's talking to me. But this thing is supposed to capture all the all the chats in one place, and I don't know, it's not working. So I'm just going to focus on, on Facebook right here. Okay. Back to where it was. Okay, so what I'm doing, yay, featured on DLive homepage. Huh. Is that like right now? DLive. Okay. So this red is not going to be there in the final painting. It's just going to, it's just going to be like a, uh, underneath the paint, that I paint on top of it, a little bit of red will show through and adds a bit of warmth. So all this red won't be there. <clears throat> okay, so the reflections. Okay, so this is gonna be green. And this, I guess this left, oh well, that's fine. Okay. So my hope is with this paper, it's thick enough not to buckle too much. Like I don't think it's gonna be. I don't think it's gonna buckle like thin paper. Like it's already like it's already starting to bend. Like if you look here, that's kind of what I expected, which is no big deal because once you put in a frame, it'll flatten out. But with real like paper paper, it'll get all crinkly and shit. That's why you need to have watercolor paper. Okay. I don't think that uh, I think that feature on the the uh, the live homepage for, was from last time I did it. Um, the weird thing about the D live, it doesn't have a timestamp, so you can't tell when the chats were. Like I don't know if that was. I'm almost positive that was last time I was live. Because otherwise, if it was on the front page, that happened to me before. Actually, it was pretty hilarious. I like when I just started D live, I was featured on the homepage, and I got bombarded with like tons of people were chatting and stuff, and it was it was kind of cool. I was like, whoa, what are you, who are you? Like, why are you watching this stuff? And it was pretty funny. Um, so I'm just waiting for this to to sort of dry out a bit. Um, yeah, and I think what happened with last time when I was on the front page, I was kind of like nearing. I was just wrapping up my painting session, so I kind of. I didn't stick around. Okay, so let's try. What can I do? Should I do a wash? Yeah, I actually know I should do. I should continue this wash right across. So I was just trying to preserve my little sketch underneath, but it doesn't really matter because I'll come up with some some other design for the trees. Okay, so I don't like that. I want them to come yeah lower. And hide those things. Let's bring in a second red just to mix it up a bit. Let's try this red. This is more like a yeah it's not brown. Light red bright. It's not at all what it looks like. It looks like a ochre. A brown slightly brown tinted. It's just nice to have a little bit of variation. Let's try a third red. What's this? No, crimson is gonna be too purple. Carmine is nice. Let's try this thing. Oh yeah, that's like a rose color. Carmine. I don't know if these are traditional names, but I don't remember ever hearing of a paint color called carmine. Paint color. Not quite rose. It's more. I'm gonna block out that car as much as I can. I wonder if there should be like. Huh, I don't know. 
what colors these these rocks are gonna have like don't they have like the cracks that kind of come yeah I think that that feels a little bit better okay almost dry all right not a coffee The only th okay, there's a, the one thing I'm just waiting for this to, to dry. One of the few things about the live streaming that I'm not crazy about is I feel compelled to like well to interact with people, <laughs> That's, and it's distracting, you know, and also. I'm nowhere near as free flowing because I'm conscious of things like keeping keeping the picture in the frame and all that shit. And also sort of explaining as I go. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, music. I tried every which way to get music playing because I like to listen to music while I'm doing it, but I just keep on getting kicked off or banned or muted on every platform. Which blows me away because I, I, there must be some sort of like in the algorithm like if you're popular they'll be more lenient towards you but uh i just keep on getting kicked off so much it's just like and by kids it's not so much i care about being kicked off it's just like i'm not gonna put my effort into like i'm using it as a way to record stuff to save stuff and if they just delete it you know it's kind of a pain in the ass why should i bother okay All right, so mm. <laughs> maybe some white. Okay, let's just color this too greeny. The yellow, maybe. So maybe, yeah, this is too. Let's actually, you know what? I'm going to paint this in and just see what color it dries. Because gouache is a little tricky. You gotta, you gotta understand that it definitely dries a different color. Then it goes on wet. Huh? I think I fucked this up a bit. Yeah, fuck. Okay. And it's here. Wait a second. How did I pooch that so bad? This doesn't seem right. If this comes here. There's definitely green that's coming here. Okay, I, I kind of screwed that up a bit. Wow, how could I screw that up so badly? What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just do the reflection, but I pooched the reflection. Or maybe I pooched the color... This thing, I wonder if there's an easier way to try to, f like the distance is going to be, there's probably some better technique, I'm just not doing it. Oh, I see, it should start here. No, 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 no. Hmm, this is behind. Okay, so maybe I was right after all. Maybe I was right. Oh, yeah, I think I was right after all. I'm thinking about, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Oh, it's, anyway. so it's it's a reflection, so I can fake it. I can just put lines that go across this way, and it'll give the impression of, of whatever's behind it. So it doesn't matter. Faking it, faking it, faking it. Okay. Now, yeah, okay. So I'll just do that, because this is in front of that. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Oh, yeah, and maybe I should do, like, th if this is behind here, I should do, like, a different color. Maybe bring in some purples in there. Why not? Let's try doing that. Let's see how it looks. I'll just bring some purples. Oh. Oh, Oh, 
like, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck we're doing. <laughs> I crack myself up. Okay. Oh, I, I can't believe I just forgot. If I'm going to do that, I got to do... Oh yeah, so the hmm, I gotta and also my, my I don't know where the light's coming from too. I gotta figure this out. Which way would the light come from? Like this way or this way? It's a mystery. Okay, in the, in the background, I kind of want it to it needs to have some movement, like just sort of like like is it gonna come? Okay, it's okay. Let's put some of these trees in here. So. Oh, the wind. The wind was, bl was blowing that day in Algonquin Park. The Douglas fir trees. What the hell kind of trees are these? Okay, I'm, I have to look it up. West wind tree. West wind tree farm. No, Tom Thompson I'm talking about here. Tom, T-H-O-M, Tomps, Tomp? Top, T H O M, P S O N. Tom Thompson. What kind of tree is it? Come on. I want to know what kind of tree this sucker is. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. This kind of tree. Where is it? It's a pine. Pine tree. A duh. Okay, so pine tree. This is a pine tree. And then if I was to like think about who is it? Lauren Harris? Who do he would just do shapes. Let's just do some Lauren Harris stuff. It's almost like cones. Almost like weird fucking I don't even know. I think did I wanna have some like bushy mat, like a bush mat oh, fuck. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a couple, a couple layers. Yeah, maybe like. Hmm. I'm getting impatient. Where we're, we're we're getting towards fantasy territory, because I look at this tree. A little bit of stuff coming off the edges on that one. I don't know what are these. Let's just do a little whoop 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 whoop. Okay, I feel like it's time. It's time to bring in. I'll bring in this. Oh, yeah, okay, I'll do green. I don't like that color. I want way more yellow. This color. Let's try this. Okay, that's not weird at all. Talking about my sound effects. Hey, what color is this? It's kind of okay. I gotta think about the light. It's kind of a nice color. It's sort of a strange brown. I don't even know what these shapes are. I'm just pretending or making making it up. That's what you gotta do. Increases the artsy fartsiness. Um hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Okay, I think it's gonna start exploding as soon as I add this guy in. Watch this. It's gonna blow your mind. Your mind will be blown. 
Let's start with, should I start with a little bit of light blue in there? I don't know. Let's try a bit of both. Am I having fun tonight? Hey, Leona Jane Greer Marlowe. That's a freaking long name. It's like everyone who got married kept their names. Leona Jane, oh, that's your first name, Greer Marlowe. You got to hyphenate that stuff so we know what the hell's going on. Okay, let's watch. Let's ready. Let's blow this. Let's let's make this shit happen. Okay, am I gonna do what kind of clap? Let's just do this. Oh, she was a windy day up in northern Ontario. Why am I doing my old man voice? It was a windy day in northern. Ontario. I just read that uh, Tom Thompson's died while he was doing. West Wind, like that was the painting before he died, Tom Thompson. The mystery of Tom Thompson's death. People believe that he drowned, which is strange. So my school friend could find me. Ah, that makes sense. It's just a Facebook thing. I got you. I hear you. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. But a but a but 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 a. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. Ah, shit, I used to know that whole thing. Lake. Oh my god, my brain is just totally fried. Why the. Him. Why they went to Rome, God only knows. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. Ah, fuck. I've seen queer sights, but the queerest I ever did see was on the Lake Labar Lake Labarge and something Labarge. I cremated Sam McGee. It's a cool poem. It's kind of freaky. It's almost like a ghost story. <laughs> the ending's awesome. You haven't you know this poem? It's this famous poem. And uh but the gold miner from Tennessee who came up north to mine and he somehow died or disappeared and they found him inside like a fire or a furnace or something. I can't remember what it was. And he said, shut the door. It's too damn cold out there. And like, you know, it's like as if that was his, his dead corpse was talking. <laughs> something like that. That's, that's, I think I learned that poem in grade uh, seven, grade seven or grade eight. And we memorized, oh, I remember what happened. This class was divided into like, maybe like six groups and each of us had to memorize. Ain't added no goddamn moon, Woody, you insane, Leona? Jane Greer, Marlowe? Goddamn, we had a moon. It's crazy talk. Crazy talk, I tell you. It's the daytime. There ain't no goddamn moon in daytime. You lost your marbles. Okay, let's add some of this blue. There's strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. Why he left his home in the south to roam, God only knows. Uh, I might add a sun. Ain't added no moon. Leona, if you don't know me, I love to tease people who are talking with me on this thing. And one of the things is, if anyone like asks me to do something, I usually do the exact opposite. Just because I like being a stubborn ass face. <clears throat> so there's no goddamn moon. You gotta, you, you gotta try to use reverse psychology. Say, don't add a moon, that's a terrible idea. And I'd probably add a moon. But I'm just joking around. Just joking around. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. Why? Well, Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. That's how it goes. 
Why he left his home in the south to roam the north, God only knows. The northern lights have queens here, queer, have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night on the barge of Lake Magarge I cremated Sam McGee. That's how it goes. Ah, there you go. You, oh, that, but you just, you just revealed your hand there. You wanted a son. Now, I was actually, honestly, I was just about to do a son. Fuck. Now I can't do a son because you jinxed it. You gotta, if you're going to use reverse psychology, you got to, like, hold it tight. You can't, you can't reveal it. Because then, uh, then you blew, you, you lose, you lose the whole, whole awesomeness of the, uh, thing of a thing with the stuff with the things. Okay, let's see. Maybe I'll add some warmth, like some yellow, some, yeah. Come on, Josh, you can do it. I'll add some yellow to the sky because it'll bring some warmth to it. Hmm. Let's get some brown happening on these rocks. They're too yellow. They need to be. They need to be more dull, gray, if you will. I'll add some gray to them in a minute. The one, the one problem I have so far with this painting is there's no sense of light. And that's that happens often when I paint from scratch is that I don't have the reference of the real world to help me help guide me it's nice to have a little guidance okay oh I forget this is water so I'm gonna have to do I know what I'm gonna do add a berry <laughs> Had a bear. Okay, let's let's add some grays in here because it's too damn chipper, if you know what I mean. I'm still double. <laughs> See, you're getting there now because now I'm gonna like it's like one of those triple triple scams. Like it, <clears throat> I gotta think, is she? trying to double bluff me she really does want a bear but saying she doesn't want a bear that's that's how you do it now you're getting somewhere now you're playing with now you're using Crisco huh. all right let's uh let's bring some strong white in here Okay, so right now it's like we have this sort of blurry impression of a, of a place. A blurry impression of a place and it needs contrast. To, it's missing contrast. I wonder, I wonder. Let's, let's see if I, I know, I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to paint, paint around the shapes that exist here. And maybe it'll create something interesting. So I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to fill in the holes with this red. But I'm just going to trace these things. And let's see if, if just the act of tracing creates something unique and interesting. Because that's what I'm trying, that's what I'm aiming for. I don't want to just do... Anybody could do a painting of a landscape. Just take a photograph and do it, copy it. You know, anybody could do that. I don't think it takes much skill. So I always admire people who go a little further. They try to like try to create something original, and that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I'm going to try give it an effort. So. I don't, I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing. Let me try zooming in. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, it's a bit too blurry. I'm gonna zoom out. Maybe that'll be good. Okay, so I'm just taking my brush and I'm just sort of like dripping marks now. Like I'm literally, every single stroke is a tiny fraction of a, an experiment 
different from the last stroke. Like I'm just trying varying up the, the weight and dripping and yeah, whatever kind of bullshit. You know, I'm just fucking around. That's what it is. There's nothing like groundbreaking or interesting really. I'm just fucking around. Maybe I'll come up with something neat. strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who toil for gold. No, well, Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the south to roam, God only knows. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night on the barge of Lake Garge that cremated Sam McGee. Okay, is Inner Horizon, is it lighter on the bottom and darker on the top or darker? I'm going to go with, I don't know. I'm going to actually look, have to look at a picture. So let's just pull up a picture. I'm looking at West Wind right now. I'm looking at this very small. I have to make it bigger. Hold on. West Wind Tom T H O M P. S O N boom Tom Thompson Okay images Here let me show you what I'm looking at boop Okay Let me pull that out Let's see what good old Tom did Let's just choose the first one let's try actually a higher res one It's amazing how different they are depending on how this one looks like a better. Oh, it's only five hundred. I'm looking for one that's going to be a good photograph. Oh, that, but high resolution. These are all shit resolutions. This one looks like a study. This okay. Let me tell you something. I know the group of seven, and I'm telling. This is a small painting which he probably did in plain air live. So he was probably out there. On this lake, yeah, Tom Thompson. Fuck yeah. I know my shit, dude. When it comes to, like, some artists, I know what I'm talking about. Because I spent hundreds of hours checking stuff out since I was a kid. I would go to the Art of Ontario, and they had these drawers. So all the big paintings on the wall, but the best stuff were in drawers. And they were put in drawers to prevent the light from affecting them. But the best ones were, like, there are, like, a hundred of these little panels. Holy shit, it's incredible. I gotta go to AGO again. And you pull out these big drawers, and inside are like four or five panels, like on wood. See, look at this. You can see he painted directly on probably a piece of wood. That's why it looks a little bit warmish, because that's that's so that's what I was doing. If you look here, I was doing the same kind of idea, except I had to paint the red behind it. Um, go back to here. Okay, so what I'm looking for is light. So it looks like there's. I'm gonna steal this. There's a bit of warmth, yellowish here on the horizon. Then it becomes whiter, and there's a lighter... Yeah, I'm going to steal this sort of color palette. So, And uh, I actually might even steal some brush strokes. So I'm getting kind of finicky with my little ones. I'm going to come and do some bigger, broader ones. And also, well, I can't do it. But I like the way he made the white caps. Um, uh, i got to get out in nature and paint like this. I mean, there is something kind of cool about doing it from imagination. It creates a different kind of, but I just, I don't think my stuff looks that good. Okay, so I like this. I like that kind of a sky. I'm going to try stealing some of this guy. Tom Thompson. I also need some more Tom Thompson. Let's do Tom, Tom, T-H-O-M-P, Thompson Pine. I need a pine tree. Tom, teach me about pine trees. Let's see some, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. These things. Okay. Oh, man, he's such a good painter. This guy is a good painter. Most painters suck, but this guy is fucking awesome. This guy was wicked. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the thing. I was, yeah, I was kind of thinking about something like this. This kind of a tree. Yeah, see this? Oh, in fact, I, it looks a lot like the one I was making up. See, see this one? 
here. I don't know if you remember the original drawing I started, but I started doing these things that fit was bent in the wind. So that's pretty windy. That's maybe too windy for my thing. Because look, oh look at that. Look at the colors here. This stuff is awesome. This is far more of a polished paint. This is Tom Thompson. It doesn't look like it is. That's got a very Lauren Harris kind of feeling with that, with the uh, gradations happening in the clouds. Okay, so I need I need some reference to make my trees just because I don't have them burned in my memory strong enough. So let me look at this. That's a very rough sketch. That might actually do because it's about a similar size. So what he's done here is he has a very, the background sky is, is are, oh shit, I'm looking at the wrong thing, sorry. The background sky is flowing. Okay. Huh. But I do like these trees. I mean, I do like this sky, this one. That's a nice sky. Okay. Let's see if I can steal some of your ideas, Tom. Maybe I'm going to try stealing some of your ideas. Let's uh, let's steal some of your sky. Okay. Gonna steal some of your sky. All right. So let's steal some of Tom's sky. Brother, I would be out there with you making up my own shit. But, okay, so let's go back to, so see that sky up there? Wait, where's my mouse? I'm going to go and I'm going to steal that kind of shape and those colors a bit. I'm going to try doing a similar transition where it goes from this kind of nice blue, which is a uh, cerulean blueish, and this goes to like a, a muddy sort of uh, cooler blue, and then he contrasts it with a sort of this yellowish color. Oh, fuck. We don't want you to see that. Okay. Show how fucked I am. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Doesn't matter if it's... His is definitely a warmer blue. Okay, yeah, let's steal some of that. So it's like pew, 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 pew. I got I gotta mix it as I go. So I'm gonna bring in this purple or violet. <sighs> Gouache is not it just not as uh not as good as oil paint for, for, for the stuff I'm doing. I'm doing it because I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to bust up my oil paints. I have all these. Gouache is, is quicker to get into. Okay, so I need some uh, white honey lemon. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Honey and lemon tea. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about the colors. No, I just... uh. <sighs> Okay, let's try this. Oh, is it okay? This. Yeah, I do see some stuff, don't I? Let's, um, well, it's good to have a transition. Let's just have a transition. Uh, maybe just, yeah, more like shades like that. I think, let's try, uh, huh. This is so this is the reason why I, I tape things down because I'm now painting at a up a, a slope. It's very awkward. It's kind of hard to tell looking straight down, but it's a real pain in the ass. I kind of I was I knew I know better. I should have known better. Um, strong white, and then let's bring down some, let's bring that lemon color. <laughs> Mark with the flat rocks. 
Um, that's too mustardy. I need a very lemony. Actually, no, that one, Naples yellow. Let's see what that looks like. That is a nice color. I think that with a bit more white, and we're good to go. Let's bring another brush in. Oh, look at this cute little square brush. Hello. So let's bring in some of this creamy, creamy uh, color here. Oops. Let's see how that looks. Well, that looks very nice, doesn't it? Maybe, maybe I'll try adding like uh, more shapes to this, more th like. All right, so Horizon is gonna have that orange glow. I don't, yeah, those little experimental lines, I think they just, they just they're kind of sucky. Okay, let's try this light yellow. Let's just see what happens. I don't think this is the right way to go, but I think if I add it that to that white, it might do something. No, it's probably too yellow, but let's just, yeah, let's just see what happens. I gotta paint, I gotta figure out the negative space, like to paint the trees with negative space. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. And what I mean is build the shapes of the trees by painting light that sh that's showing through. That's a lot of what Tom Thompson did. Here, let me show you, go back to here. I wonder if I can make it bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, view file. This is the way to go. Okay, that's well, that's better. Okay, so painting the negative space. He put this blob of paint right there. And the shape around it is the solid shape. But that crate, he created it by painting the, the negative space, by painting the light in between. I like to do that a lot. And that's kind of what I'm doing down here. All right, let's go back to, uh, let's get, move this out of the way again. I think I can just stick it up here. Yeah, let's put them away. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And, oh, I haven't been to D-Lab in a while. Oh, yeah, no one's there. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the desktop. Boop. Okay. Where was I? What was I thinking? Oh, yeah. Get to record. I always forget to record this stuff. Damn, so stupid. Whenever I forget to record, it only saves it to Facebook, and it's like only saves it at seven twenty p or 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 something even less than that. So when I record it, I have the the ten twenty p the you know HD version. So sometimes if you ever look at my videos, they're low. They're low. Um, qualities just because I was an idiot and I forgot to turn on the uh just forgot to record it okay let's get some purpley bits in here let's get some purple let's what happens if I mix this yellow this creamy stuff with this blue over here are we is it gonna go green probably I don't know let's bring in this Tom Thompson ooh that's too green yeah all right these are nice purples but they're too intense they're too strong you know what I can do? Maybe I'll just add a touch of it. I'll just barely touch the paint with that purple. Oh, we can't see it. Let me just make zoom out a bit. Boop. Okay. Move over here. Okay. Yeah, I have to zoom out more. Boop. There we go. So I put a dab of purple here. Let me get some more white. Burp. And tap, boop. <sighs> Barely even had to touch the purple for the color to come through, just because that's just that's the thing about gouaches is that the dark colors really permeate the lights really easily. So you gotta kind of have to be judicious. Is that the right word on how you use your Darker colors. Judicious? 
probably the opposite of judicious. Sparse, but I was starting to think of more controlled, something along those lines. The other painter I really like is Van Gogh. That guy knew how to do, how to paint. That guy was freaking awesome. Oh, I think some, let's throw some bright white in here. Let's just go to town on some bright white. Hello, you are a nice watercolor brush. Here is the white. <laughs> Let's get some white in here. Dun da 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 dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da Steal in Tom Thompson. Oh, I'm looking at. I'll show you what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking. I have this the Tom Thompson kind of small in this little window here, because I'm 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 stealing it. I'm stealing your shit, Tom. You're my brother, Tom. You're my brother. You don't mind. I'm sort of stealing your stuff. I'm taking some of your ideas because I don't have nature in front of me. All I have is a, a room. But I like the fact I'm, it's being created for nothing. I like that. I dig it. Ooh, what the hell is this color? What is that color? Can I use you? <sighs> that was a crazy um, movie in a moment. Moment in a movie. The Valkyrie scene in Apocalypse Now. The scene where... God, I like the actor's name. I forget his name. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. That guy. He was the commander or whatever. I don't know his rank. Commander of uh, the helicopter uh, division group. I don't know. And they used to play on the speakers. Well, this is in a movie, obviously. It's not real. But they used to play, I think it's called Flight of the Valkyrie. What, in, to scare the shit out of the Viet Cong. As they were <clears throat> blowing them up. Room with a view. Is that a movie? It sounds familiar. It sounds like the kind of movie my mom, my mom would watch. And I'd be like, oh, hell no. I don't like schmaltzy, sentimental stuff. So, but I think Room Review with a View reminds me of some, some kind of sentimental movie. If it has to do with Provence and France, my mom's into that. Provence. Herb de Provence. Everything freaking Provence. I guess I got kind of influenced by it that for sure south of france we uh stayed for a couple months once in gourd in the south of france on the side of a mountain in this kind of like the house thing wherever we lived was basically like a cave it was cool it was converted and uh next door this is uh was where the artist vasarelli lived and painted and tons of his original paintings were there and uh, to be honest i fucking hate vasarelli i think it's complete obnoxious twaddle <laughs> he did like super geometric shapes and stuff and i was like you ever seen vasarelli here let me show you vasarelli vasarelli come here vasarelli i don't know how you spell his name let's just type in vasarelli the way i think it is victor vasarelli i think that's the guy Yeah, this is Victor Vassarelli. It's like computer CG graphics with paint. Like, maybe back... Like, I don't know. To me, I did this shit when I was like... Oh, actually, you know what? Let me show you my Vassarelli that I did. I did my own kind of Vassarelli. Oh, you know what? Yeah, smells like victory. I did one. In fact, I don't even think I put it on my website because it was so garbage. But let me go to... Let me go to... Uh, my folder where I still have tons of paintings that I haven't put online yet. And I think, I actually think I have, oh, this is awesome. 
craft dinner. This is my only pop art thing I ever did. It was like 15. It was wicked. It's a 3D piece. It was falling apart. I love that one. Come on, Vassarelli. I know where you are. This is like really old stuff. This is like 1989. into the cover of my high school yearbook. Oh, oh yeah. These are... <laughs> I did this painting. With, that's my dad. He was, he was posing for one of my paintings. And uh, my brother... Come on. Where is it? Actually, is there a better... Oh, that's cool. This is when I was living in Japan. And it was... I, this is like one of the first things I ever did in Photoshop. <laughs> 1993, basically. And in Photoshop, it was all in Japanese. So I didn't even... I couldn't even... Um, I couldn't even read what the UI said. Like, this stuff is like like little kid stuff. Like, I was like a little kid. But I want to know where the hell... I wonder if there's an easier way to find the uh, needs organizing... I get a little distracted. I'm also just taking, I just need a little break for a minute. Um, I want to find my little Vassarelli. It was like some goofy thing. Da, 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 da. When I was probably, I'm going to say 15. How do I, there's got to be a quicker way to do this. Uh, I'm really just stalling right now. Hey, from Turkey. Right on, brother. I've, did it before computer art. OP art, I think they call it. I don't know what OP's. Yeah, hello from Turkey. That's cool. Oh, someone's on DLive from Turkey. What's up, man? Uh, SSG 1997. Um... <laughs> oh yeah i remember all these old drawings this is my old high school this is when i was 14 or 15. how do you go back come on it <laughs> these are all these i took tons of sketches for like this is when i was 13 or 14 these little drawings uh yeah i'm good thanks man Turkey, Turkey. I've never been to Turkey. Everyone I've ever been to Turkey says it's one of their favorite places to visit. <sighs> I've got, there's got to be hundreds of these fucking old drawings. Two low res. I don't even know what these are. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Upside down picture. Journey. Gift paintings. Raw. Not done yet. Oh, geez. There's hundreds of things. Oh, here it is. I found it. <laughs> there it is. There's my Vassarelli drawing. And the problem is a lot of times I haven't post pictures because I don't, I can't remember the date. Like I, I'd had, I, I either forgot to put the date on it. It might have my name down there, but this is, I was probably about 12 or 13. That's my Vass Vassarelli. <laughs> so I've never liked Vassarelli. I thought it was just sort of like, you know, trippy, I mean, it was cool because it was before computer graphics, like Mark said. Yes, yeah, so that's what I heard. Um, good for tourists, bad for living. Yeah. Yeah, I know, obviously. So many crazy things going down in Turkey. Oh, where's my painting? Here it is. Okay, thanks. I just needed a little break, mental break there. Not a mental breakdown. Early 60s, yep. It was really, anyhow, so we so we live next to Vassarelli's cave house thing, and uh, yeah, so that's where I definitely got like the influence of southern France, just because my my mom was so in love with southern France and everything about the culture and Provence and urban Provence, and so it sort of inevitably absorbed it. Okay. Hmm, something isn't quite... Okay, so I think the rocks I'm working on, I need to gray them up a bit because they're too yellow. And also I need to, like, get the sky. Right, here's a couple things I need. I need to make this whole section down here more like reflections. By the water I'm talking about. This needs to look more like reflections. This all... I need to figure out how to resolve the rocks because right now it's just, you know, it's started with this the Tesla car sh thing, but it needs like a 
it needs a definition. Like maybe, maybe a dark blue or purple will help. Like I'm thinking, uh, like behind here, like a strong definition, like a line. Like if I was to go like this, press really goddamn hard and make it rocky. Like I'm now I'm gonna draw some like definition in here and maybe like these things come down like that. Oh, that's that's the transformer sound I just made. This is what happened when you when you have a son. You go through a transformer's face. Opticons, roll out. Okay, so I gotta. So I mean, something, something like that. So uh, now these are not. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just looking at my painting on the screen. So I need to define this whole, these whole uh, pine tree things. Like, let's give them some some definition and shape. And, problem is I don't have them memorized. I haven't done enough of these to know how to make something convincing. Like I, I have to, oh, something I've been thinking about for a while is going up north with my camera and my dog and taking my own photographs of, of the, of, of this stuff and then getting my own reference material. Cause I'm, I feel like a little bit naked, my lack of knowledge of the true north, right? I mean, I'm basing so much of it on just sort of my gut instinct and just pff, letting it come out. But it's almost like I need a, a nature, <clears throat> a nature, what am I trying to say here, dude? A nature recharging. Yeah. So I think I might do that. I don't even know, I don't even know what these things are like what 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 is this stuff up here? Okay, so here's where. Hmm. Dun da 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 Okay, maybe I'll draw instead of paint the gray. Let's see what kind of effect that has. Okay, right now my freaking tinnitus is getting really annoying. Really, really annoying. It's like Super, super loud. It's like somebody yelling, 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 yelling. Are you yelling? Yes, you are. Okay. Hmm. Like, I wonder if, if I could just... I need a lighter gray. Let's try something. I don't know. What is it? Yeah, let's just try something like this. Let's just try. Is that? Gonna help? Is that, is that just dirtying it up? Hmm. I think it may be nice to add. Orange or it orange. Hmm. Orange, where are you gonna go? I gotta draw this. What kind of? Where is it gonna be? Is it gonna be 
Oh, I should do it this way. That's smart. That's smart. Figured out a way to draw re reflections to make them symmetrical is turn your drawing this way. I'm so stupid the whole time. For years I was doing reflections like that. I should have just gone like this. I should have just done that. What a dumbass. Okay, so what I'm just doing now is I'm just trying to recreate some of these reflections. Because I was. Wait, if the thing curves up here, okay, whatever. Maybe. Here's another little trick. If you're still working on a painting, put some, you don't want to smudge what you've done up there. Put a little Kleenex or something, clean uh, napkin or whatever. Okay. So if this thing's going to go here, it's going to come down here. Then this thing's going to come up like that. It's going to bulb out a bit. Yeah. Whatever. Now, the cool thing is it doesn't have to be perfect because... You're gonna make. I'm gonna come in here and do like lines that go across it to get to to, to create the fucking reflections. Okay. Boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, 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 ba boom, 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 ba boom. This whole thing, I gotta darken up. Okay. So I've done here, and then there's this little crack here, and then this thing. What the hell is this thing? Here and it definitely comes out like that. Okay, that's probably good enough. It's probably good enough. Oh yeah, over here, look how terrible this one is. This one is just crap tastic delicious. Should have come here. I was actually closer the first time I did it. How about clay and lavender? I hear ya. Oh uh, yeah, I think, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, I hear ya. Definitely some, la like, well that, that, this color here is the technically lavender, but the rocks here, I remember them being much more gray. So that yellow is just really like a base coat. I wanna, I, wanna, I gotta figure, the problem is I gotta figure out where the fuck the light is coming from. Light could come from this angle it could come this angle or it could come straight on. Those are sort of my choices right now. So I'm kind of not sure. Maybe if the light comes this way, it also affects how the light is going to affect the trees. So I can still have to make that come. Kind of. I kind of feel in the light this way. The reason why I like the light this way is I can make this sort of dark or like almost like this could be a shadow on here. And the, yeah, I think I think I just feel it. I'm feeling maybe because the flat surfaces, so it gives me a little bit of a direction. So I, I kind of have to fix this because that's if this is light, I don't I don't know what the fuck this shape is. Like the only way this would be in the shadows is if there's more of a rock coming over. So I kind of have to uh, figure that one out. Um, yeah, uh, let me just let me just go in and. Correct a couple things. Shoes, where's that? Let's just go in here and like if this thing needs to come out. All right. Oh yeah, was this, I was thinking this is, should be more gray if this is light. I might actually, I might, I might stop and take a break and come back to this thing. Um, that's a possibility. Hmm. I'm just thinking. Yeah, I think it's just way too yellow. The the whole uh, the whole rocks are too yellow. I'm just gonna decide if I do. I use dra drawing to gray them up. Or paint. I feel like drawing. May not be the right choice, but I just feel like drawing. So I'm gonna get some. It's an 
organize a couple. Get these uh, pencils and the pencil sharpener. And let's start, let's actually try just using white. Get a lemp sip. What the hell's a lemp sip? What's a lemp sip? I got a Google lemp sip. I love learning new stuff. L E M S I P. Boom. Lemp sip. Is a brand of cold and flu remedies. <laughs> In the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, Australia, New Zealand. I just it just started today. I think uh, it just might be my allergies. I'm not uh, I'm not sick. But thank you. Lem sick. Okay, so Leona, you must you you are. You ain't Canadian, unless you were, you are now, but we don't have that brand. Up here in Canada. We ain't got that brand. All right, so let's just uh, let's just go to town here and just draw over this with white and see what effect it has. Just to see what happens. Why not? I just want to take down that yellow because that's just the only way that yellow would actually occur is if it was directly in the sun and that's actually kind of what I, I don't I, I'm still going to try doing that I'll still try doing the direct sunlight uh, I think I think that could look really good but something about the yellow just too, is just bugging me Oh, you're in Greece. Oh, cool. I once had the intention of traveling to Greece when I was 17. I was with a girlfriend. We were doing, going through Europe. And uh, our intention, we were, we were in Italy. And we were going to go from Brindisi in Italy and then go across to Corfu and then the islands. But she got in a scooter accident. We were screwing around. We didn't even know how to drive scooters, but we ran to them like everyone does. And then she wiped out. So we had to spend two, we had two weeks for Greece. We had to spend all two weeks in Corfu. And you probably know Corfu. It's like back then it was just like such a touristy, a tourist trap. It was gross. Pink Palace. That's the place we stayed. Everyone stays at the Pink Palace back then. All the, the backpackers. And uh, for one night, it was fun. If you were like 19 years old, if you were 19 years old back then, you know, early 20s, the Pink Palace was the place. And you were like, uh, like an American, Australian, Canadian. It was the ultimate place because it was like a super party. Everyone's drinking. And at, when they serve you food, they would throw the glock, you know, you know, throw the plates and smash them. And they would, they would constantly play Bye Bye American Pie by Don McLean. Now, if you're staying there one night, hey, that's awesome, you know, fun, whoa, drinking, whatever. You stay the second night and you realize it's the exact same thing. And the third night, you're like, oh my God, that's all they do is they play the same thing over and over. And so it was like some sort of like Hotel California nightmare uh, because that's where we were staying. And I don't know why we, sh we, didn't, we didn't change hotels or whatever, but we just, after the third night, we're like, okay, we're never eating at that place again because it was just, it was just... Like a like I said, it was like a freaky nightmare. So we use that at hotels as a base, and then would go to different restaurants and stuff when she could. But like I said, she wiped out and hurt her leg. Opposite Corfu, Paxos, cool. Okay, I think oranges would warm this up. I think I said that before. So the question is, how do I? How do I warm it up? Maybe, maybe these rocks here behind, like if this could be the shadow. This.
Yeah, I can feel myself slowing down. This is uh, getting to be a little bit crazy. Hmm. I'm just trying to light up. I might have to paint that. Still needs a lot of work. It's just it's it's starting. Um, the old Tesla painting. I think maybe I oh maybe what I'll do is just I'll wrap up by I mean uh, yeah I'm gonna have to do this in a separate section. It's three o'clock. I got to prepare for work tomorrow. So. Um, Just covered up a bit of the red because it's because I can. Why not? Yeah, I still need some work. It's not uh it's not there yet. I don't know. It's okay, it's a start of something. Need one olive tree on the top. <laughs> I don't even know I don't even know what olive trees look like. Take a stop. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna stop. It's a start. It's a start of something. Let's zoom out. There you go. It's little. See? Look how little it is. It's just this tiny little thing. It needs... Uh, what does an olive tree look like? Let's find out what an olive tree looks like. Jack pine. Okay, wait. Let's see. Olive tree. O-L-I-V-E-T-R-E. -E. I don't even know what an olive tree looks like. Oh, cool. Yeah, that totally looks like grease, those things. Whoa, those are wicked. Look at the crazy twisty stumps. That's pretty neat. Oh, look at this thing. That's cool. Yeah, I guess it could be kind of grease. Yeah, it does have that. Uh... That's pretty cool. Here, let me show you what I'm thinking of. This is kind of what I'm thinking of. Let me think of... Um... Rocks, Ontario. No, I'll do Algonquin Park Rocks. Let's see what comes up. Maybe Reflection. 
Algonquin Parks Rocks. Algonquin. They spell Algonquin right? Images. This, yeah, so this is very similar to that place when I was a when I was a kid we used to climb up. Yeah, this is exactly the kind of stuff I was thinking about. But obviously not as high up. Um yeah, uh, trying to find a sh something that shows all the, the the breaks and stuff, the cuts and things. Um, wait, the message. We have three thousand year old olives. What? The olives themselves are three thousand year olds, or the trees are three thousand year olds. Must be the the uh, the trees. Come on, there's got to be a reference I can. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of reflections. Let's just type in rock. Oh, I put in rocks twice. That was dumb. Rocks. Algonquin. Let's just do that. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm just. I'm, I don't think I'm. I, um... Damn it. Algonquin shoreline? Let's do that. Algonquin. Okay, yeah, I'll look it up in one sec. I just, I'm kind of like need to find this. Like. A ref, you know that doesn't look right. Algonquin. Oh shit! I didn't. I meant to type in Algonquin. A l g o n q u i n. Okay. Yeah, like this. That looks like a painting. Yeah. See these rocks? That's kind of what. That's kind of what. Oh. I was kind of feeling see on Google I've painted find Ochre's Beach Paxos okay let's look up let's look up that um where is this uh O K no O R K O S Beach P A X O S. <sighs> yeah, totally it's got that the hard rocky pebble pebble beaches. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. Oh, is that that one place that everyone goes to? Cool. I'm a Canadian. I don't like the, the heat. This is, looks too damn hot for me. <laughs> I like this. This would be nice. This is where I'd go. With that right, I'd be right there the whole day. I'll spend hours right there. Look at that house. That's kind of cool. Fuck, I like pools. I don't see I don't see the reference that much. Maybe I'm sure like because you know it well. Maybe like that. No. Anyhow, what I was looking at, what I what I was trying to channel is like yeah, that's a terrible. That's not good. These rocks. I love these rocks. Oh yeah, here we go. See that. That's kind of what I was thinking. 86 best images about Canadian landscape painting. See, this is what I need. I need to have a real, this is a, a painting. I need to, I need a, a real painting to look at. And when I look at mine, I'm like, uh, this is fucking garbage. I don't know if you can see that very well. How do you zoom? Boop, 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 boop. Mine looks like a stupid kid's drawing. I need to get photograph references. I need to go. See, look, I, I, I wouldn't have. Look at all these different shapes and things. This is a nice painting. But I bet you they just copied a photograph. That's what pisses me off. Just copied a photograph. I've been thinking about, like, just 
doing prints and then painting over the print because why what the hell's the difference i like the the color difference here the contrast this is nice that little tiny log out there the light the shadows and this is nice blah nice blah nice I could do so much more it just takes time I'll get there this little thing will get there eventually maybe maybe I'll use this we'll save this save image I don't know where this is from. How do you boop, 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 go back? Oh, wait. Is this another painting? Is that a painting too? Yeah, another painting. Wait, is Anna, is that her Anna Clary? Where's that painting I just looked, I just saved? Was that the same person? Come on, where was it? Here it is. Anna Clary, okay. Look, this is Nana Clary. Okay, let's go to AnnaClary.com. Maybe I should just do this. I'll just go take some photographs and paint directly what the photographs are. I'll just fucking do that. Hey, she must be from Toronto. This is Kensington Market. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go take photographs and paint them and fuck it. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is... Uh, I... I, I... I take my kid to karate right around the corner, right from, oh shit, I'm not showing you. This is what I've been, the whole time I've been showing these, these paintings. This is just, I know exactly where this is. But I 100% can tell you she takes photographs and paints directly from the photographs. Tons of people do it. There's nothing wrong with it. I just have trouble with it, me personally. Personally, it bugs the shit out of me. For me to do it, not somebody else. Anybody else can do it. It's cool with me. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, this looks like on Queen Street. Yeah, of course, it's a photograph. She took a photograph and painted it. Uh, but if people like that, if people buy it, I'll do some of those paintings. I'll do some fucking paintings like this. I give up. It just sucks the life out of me. You can tell she did the same thing as I was talking about earlier where she she did an undercoat. You can even see it. See the little bit of paint coming through? Um, she, either she painted on a panel that was wood, and that brings a bit of that warmth through. What the hell's going on here? Oh, so Leona's sending me some photos. Oh, you're probably sending me some photos of Greece. I'll, I'll take a look at them in a sec. That's the cool thing about the internet, eh? So maybe I'll just do this for a while. Copy some photographs, and then people will buy them because they look nice, and I'll pay the mortgage. Maybe I'll do that for a while. Should I? I don't know. Oh, you send a lot of photographs, aren't you? I'll, I'll take a look at them in a second. Okay. Clary. Let's see. Bio. Is a full time for her working from home in Toronto. See? Boop. I knew that. The, she's acrylics. Yep. Well, use color, contrast, beauty, 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 and represent a gallery in Niagara Lake. Beep. Yeah. Should I do that? Should I just do that? Should I do copies of. Photos and sell them and make money. I mean, they're nice. They're well done. Wonder. Yeah. All right. I sent some photos to your message. Yeah, well, I heard my phone was was beeping. So should I do that? Should I just go and guestbook? 
Oh, that's kind of a neat idea. You can add a comment. Huh. I should do that. Add a comment to a guest book. That's a smart idea. Mailing list. Holy shit, that's a lot of information, my friend. I'm just looking at our website. Okay. Druckman Art, what does that mean? I said, yeah. Oh, my name is Josh. I just called him Druckman Art. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna come back to this thing later. I'm gonna come back to this little thing. Yeah. Okay, I'm tired. All right, thanks for watching. Nice to meet you, Leona from Greece. Yeah, take it easy. See ya. Peace out. Look how little it is. It's tiny. Boop. Okay. See ya.